Hello, this video is for people who already have their TV Mate unlocked and have a service on it. So this is the best way to set it up once you get that far. The best thing you want to do to set up your TV Mate is do these steps, okay? Scroll all the way over to your left. Once you click on your TV Mate, you know, scroll to your left. Then you're going to be on your categories under the TV Mate section here. Scroll down to settings. Now we're going to click on settings. And chances are where it says general, that means that you have it unlocked. If you don't, if you see unlock code needed, then you need to go to another step, watch another video to figure out how to unlock this, okay? But this is not for you. Anyway, let's go on with the tutorial. So what we want to do is let's click on general. Now what we want to do is scroll down to confirm exit by hitting the back button so it just don't go off. So we want to turn this on, okay? So we're going to turn that on by hitting the OK button and that's turned on. Now we can hit the back button. So that'll be set up. And in our playlist, we won't worry about that. The EPG will probably leave that as is appearance like if you want to have a clock on your um, TV mate this is how you can get a clock on your TV so you would click on appearance and you go down to player click on player and then it says clock I have the clock on mine but you would click on clock yours was probably turned off so you click on turn on and you can put the clock in whatever position you want Top left, top right, top bottom. Click where you want your clock to be at. The size of your clock, click on this. You will have large, small, or medium. I'm hitting the back button. And the transparency of your clock, you know. None, low, high, medium. It's up to you. Preference, so you hit the back button. And that's how we set up the main thing for that part. Now, another thing you may want to set up, depending on what kind of service you have, you may have a whole bunch of categories and you don't want all these categories. So what you want to do is come to favorites and you want to hold down the center button. You're going to get a side pop-up menu and you want to make sure that you have show channel from hidden groups on. This may be turned off, so you want to turn this on. So this way you can get all your channels you want to go down to Manage Groups, click on Manage Group, and then you want to click on TV. Now what you can do is if you click on, uh, I don't like having show newly add groups on, so I, I keep this turned off, but if you click on Hide All Groups, it's going to, over here on the side, if I click Hide All Groups, all those are going to go away. Watch. so. I'm going to click hide all groups and everything went away for the most part. So now I can pick the categories that I want without, you know, having everything, all this stuff. I, I would have all this stuff over there if I didn't hide it all. <laughs> okay. But it, it will still come up. And then you just come down here and select, you know, your categories. Oh, that is so many categories. I hope I'm not making you dizzy with that. But yeah, you just click on your categories if you want that one, if you want this one. Just turn them on by hitting the blue button and then scrolling down, you know, for what you want. And that's how you get your categories over here so you don't have a whole bunch of categories. So that's a good thing to do for that, okay? And then I'll show you some other things we can do, okay? Okay, from here, let's just hit the back button on our remote. Hit the back button one more time. And then this is a channel sorting section right here, okay? This will allow us to arrange our TV uh, favorites the way we want. So if we click on this, hit OK, and then it's going to probably be on default when you first click on it. And, but we want to scroll down to manual, highlight manual, and then click on reorder channel. 
and then your channels will pop up here. And then what you have to do, like on the first one, it's going to be highlighted. You want to tap it. And then you can, I guess I should have showed you how to add favorites. But let's just say if you have some favorites, I'll show you how to add favorites, okay? And then, but once you get stuff in your favorite, like if I tap this now, it's going to highlight it. And then I can move it by scrolling up or scrolling down. And then I hit the center button. Then I can scroll to, to the next one. Wherever I want to move the things, I can move them how I want. I, you know, by just hitting it, it highlights. I can move it up. I can move it down and put it where I want it to by hitting it. And once you finish sorting your channels the way you want them, just hit the back button and hit the back button. And there you go. You have, you know, your channels the way you want. And if you want to favorite them, like for instance, I'm going to come over here. Let's say if I want to favorite this channel, CNN, I would just highlight it, hit the, hold the center button, just hold it. And then over here on the side, you just click on add to favorite. And then click on it. And now that's in your favorite. And it's going to go down to the very bottom. Everything that you add will be at the bottom of your list. And if you want to remove it, you do the same thing. You hold it down, you get your pop-up menu, and you just choose remove from favorite. And that's how you add your favorites, okay? Okay, this is what you want to do when your channel is small. You tap the center button and that'll make your channel big. And then let's say you are watching this channel, you want to, um, you want to tap the center button and it's going to bring up your history and you can scroll over to whatever last channel you wanted to watch or whatever like that. And then from here, if you scroll down one more time, you're going to be able to see the search, channel list, recording, multi view to where you can see more than one channel at the same time. You know, your mic, your closed captions, all this stuff is under here where you can add it to favorite like that if you're watching the channel and if you're watching uh, multi-view you would like if you want to see more than one channel it depends on how many um, you can only do that if you have a couple of I mean if you have a couple of um, connections if you only have one connection you re really can't use multi-view you have to have more than one connection so I'm gonna tap this again to make that pop up scroll down then I can scroll over to multi-view and then I'm going to get this window. It's going to play what I'm already watching. But let's say I want to watch something else. I would just hit the center button. And then I can add a screen. And then from here, I can pick another channel. Come back. I mean, you know, I can go to my different category to pick a channel or whatever I want to do. And then once I pick that other channel, right there, I can tell what channel I'm on because it's blue. So if I was to click this one here, it's gonna have two channels. Like this is this would have been a channel over here. And then I scroll over here, now I'm on that channel. So I can watch both channels at the same time. So I'm gonna hit the house button. I didn't want to hit the house button. But anyway, that's how you do that on your TV mate. Let me see if there's anything else I can tell you about before I in this video. And here is one more thing that this, the um, TV Mate can do is record. I'm going to put a video on the end of this to show you how to set it up. And this could be for your Superbox, um, Ownbox, or Fire Stick. So you can, uh, you know, learn how to record from the video that I'm going to put at the end of this video. So there you go. That's a quick tutorial on how to configure your TV Mate for how you like it. Hope you like it. Good luck. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Bye.